Hello everyone and welcome back to Plane. Now, today, what shall we do today? That's a good question. Now, how far did we get to last time? I think we walked all the way around. Huh. We got to the beach-like area. Let's do sunrise today. We haven't properly tried that yet. And uh, let's walk to the... Oh, wait. I think I see the tree that we planted next to the river. So I think the river is over there. Uh, and I think the beach was further along. Should have been. That's how we walked it. So let's keep walking. And see if we can find anything else on our little island. I think I can hear the beach actually. The kind of waves. Yeah, I think I can see it. Is that it? No, maybe not. Let's keep going and see what else we can find. I'm actually just... I've, I've made myself the uh, chamomile tea that I'd mentioned to you in a previous episode. Hung out in the balcony for a little while and I came in and thought, oh, yeah, it's a good time to meditate and I've still got the rest of that chamomile tea with me. I didn't quite finish it out there because I wasn't out there long enough. Uh, yeah, that sounds more like the uh, lapping waves. Yeah, and I recognize that that rock. Or was it this rock that I should have recognized? Yeah, it's this one. That one too. So this is where we got to in the last episode. We'll keep walking and see if there's anything else along the coast. So this, I guess... So that's where we started. Going straight across. This is sunrise. So that's east. So I guess this is north. can see wolf chasing us down All right, let's keep going let's see if there's anything else we can spot I'll be very curious to hear your thoughts on meditation and these videos if you have any hopefully you're enjoying them hopefully they are useful but it's just nice to just hang out here sometimes you know the I like the music it is calm serene and conducive to meditation for sure. Hmm. Right. I don't remember anything else, any other areas where you could meditate from the sandbox, not the sandbox, from the story mode. So I'm not sure if there is anything else for us to explore here, but that's okay. The journey is what it's about, right? Something that I am pretty bad at, just focusing on the exploration and the journey, you know, in, in games in general and life as well. I can be a little bit goal-oriented. I certainly was incredibly goal-oriented for a large part of my life, um, building a company and all that kind of stuff. And it was very busy, very goal-oriented, and I definitely didn't have any time for meditation back then. And it was, I eventually got to a point where I got pretty thoroughly burnt out. And then I had to take a few years out to recuperate and recover. And it was, in, in fairness, I did know about meditation and all that kind of stuff since I was a kid. You know, I grew up in an environment where all of these things were accessible. Um, but I didn't really practice it. I guess I still don't really, it's not a big part of my life. Oh look, we're back at the uh, back at the river, we did a full circle. But it was during the uh, recovery time from my burnout that I did the 30 days of meditation with the plane. And I've got to admit, it was a real helping, helping hand. It was a real boost to my morale and to my mental health, emotional health, and possibly even my physical health. It is nice to be back here. I mean, my life is busier now. Meditation is a little bit more difficult. But I do enjoy it. And um, I enjoy being back here. 
now that we are back at the river, hmm, let's do our meditation for today. Uh, is there anything we want to change? No, I think we'll just do the regular one. Let's see if... Uh, breath. I don't really pay attention to this that much because I just do breathing at my own pace. But if anybody's interested, I'll pop that on slow. Let's maybe see if there are any other bells for us. Wait. That's quite, that's quite nice. That's also quite nice. Huh. <laughs> it's quite a range of bells. So that's it. I quite like that one. Weather. Uh, wind is okay. That's cloudy and windy. That's just rain. I love the rain. I'm sorry if you don't. I absolutely thoroughly love the rain. So I'm going to stick with that one. All right. Let's go.
It is not the length of life, but the depth. I can agree with that. When I was going through the videos, I noticed this thing. It is beyond words or thoughts. Now, if I understand this correctly, this one obviously, we, it looks like we've got three more of those seeds. And this looks like we need one more meditation before we'll get seeds for that. And this looks like we will need one more as well, because if we need to meditate three times before we will get a tree seed. One is never afraid of the unknown. One is afraid of the known coming to an end. That's actually pretty true. So it looks like we will need to meditate once more before we will get the tree seed. So maybe hoping for a line of trees is perhaps a little, it's going to take a really long time. Not that that's necessarily a bad thing. Let me just change this to afternoon so I can see this a bit clearer. Oh, well, we can see that this tree is growing a bit. Um, okay, so one thing that I am going to do is that in between the two... So the way I'm thinking about growing this is having one tree there, another tree over here somewhere, and then lines going straight down to the, uh, to the campfire. And what I'm thinking I will do in between is put down some lawn. so that we have a nice soft area to walk on. We'll fill this up a bit more depending upon how it looks once they start to grow a bit. Right now, I can't really tell. And yes, I could have planted some of this before I started the meditation today so we could have seen it, but I'd forgotten about that. And only now when I saw it, I remembered. Before we go though, I also want to check out those other two trees. Oh, wait! The fox is way over there. It's not following me around. That's cool. I thought it always followed me around. I thought he always followed me around. I really actually like the idea of these seeds and growing them. And I quite... I have mixed feelings about the tree seeds taking so long to get. It's three meditations to get one as it stands right now. We said we're going to have to meditate quite a lot before we can have, you know, enough trees in here. But in a way, it's also good. It means that we are really rewarded a great deal for consistent meditation. Oh, look, we've also got a streak of 10 today. How did I get that? Q streak. So your highest streak is 35, and right now it's at 10. I want to change this. You can change your fire mode when your streak breaks. So might have to wait until my streak breaks before I can switch it back into habit building. Huh. Well, the good news is that the fire is still growing. Because we can see here, uh, passive mode, take 60 days to reach a maximum of, of 80%. We are not at 60 days yet. We are at game progress. Oh, it tells me here, meditate for two more days to level up. I did not see that before. Uh, but it should also tell us how many days we've... Oh, we can see it here. Oh, no, wait. We've meditated for 82... We've meditated 82 times. That's interesting. We don't know how many days that is there. Statistics. Level 7 days meditated. Oh, that's 82 days of meditation. So our fire is at its maximum of 80% because 60 is what we need to get the 80%. Ha. Ah, I don't know if I should let myself break the streak so that I can swap back to the habit building one and see how that goes. Although in fairness I need to do that to what is that? 30 oops 30 times 80%. I would need to do 24 days to get to the same level of fire. Hmm, maybe not. Let's just keep the streak going, if we can, and see what comes out of that. But that'll be for the next episode, because that's all the time we have today. Thank you very much for joining me, and I'll see you again next time.